thank you uh, to smart stocks today first of all i would like to make a confession here it sounded it might sound like a horror movie and i'm going to explain some nitigrities how uh, the villain had finally able to kill the person and how the hero could nab the villain but the content may be completely different so toastmaster of the day hello toastmaster and my dear guests a few uh, months ago i had a chance to meet my college friend and thanks to zoom we had a long conversation and this person in particular was a peculiar character who was uh, known for his uh, aloofness very reserved in nature and suddenly after college nobody knew where is he suddenly in the last 2 3 years he is there in the facebook instagram everywhere uh, doing a lot of programs is part of a college as a teacher and things like that so i was so curious to know what happened so after having a conversation and he said hey alex do you know one thing uh, i was diagnosed uh, with cancer immediately after college and i was shell shocked nobody knew that there's something like this happened with him and thankfully by god's grace uh, he recovered fully uh, after 3 years of treatment and he was fully recovered he's back to life everything is fine so i asked uh, this question which often i ask to many yes uh, did doctors tell any root cause of this why it happened of course in cancer we all know there's no root cause identified but this guy is being a very analytical person he said alex i have i don't know much about it but one thing i can surely say is uh, during my college days i was extremely stressed almost every day in the five years of engineering uh, i used to think what will happen uh, to about my future what will happen about my future will i get a job will i get a job and i can attribute uh, that is one of the predominant causes of cancer after reading a lot of article i have So I am also convinced that one of the probable reasons for cancer would be uh, stress. The topic for me, which I am going to discuss today, is not actually cancer. It is about stress, the silent killer. I am stressed. We often hear it, right? Sometimes it's good, actually. Uh, it's not as bad as what we think. Sometimes it's good, but most of the times it is bad, which we may not realize. I would like to give a small. Uh, quick info about uh, how this american institute of stress uh, has identified 33% of people feeling extremely stressful most of the time and 77% have a direct effect on their physical health and 73 on their mental health and 48% of people having trouble of sleep i'm sure we all know this facts about it but how many of us are even aware of this important aspect of stress there are a lot of cases which have been discussed not just with my friends the relatives uh, others who has been affected of various diseases and various illness and the number one cause the root cause of all these things will predominantly be stress i would like each one of you to take just a 5 seconds analysis of how stressful you are and second the most important question i would like to ask yourself is are you even aware of it and the study also had some interesting information revealed who are the most kind of people who will tend to have high stress level and this is this was some revelation for me when i was reading it says ethnic minorities okay that that just means that minorities in a country it could be in different forms of political social or whatever it is right and women tend to have a lot more stress than men single parents have been going through a lot of stress it seems and people responsible for families health care decision so this i'm sure most of us might not be familiar but this was definitely a revelation for me now think through are you able to relate to anybody who's going through a lot of stress based on this parameters probably you can actually analyze a little more deep now coming to other interesting factor how to identify stress most as i mentioned most of us are might be going through a stress factor but most of us may not be aware of it it's 
it's time that we need to be aware of it and need to take an action. So, but the first point I would like to say is irritability and anger. 45% of the people who interviewed in this particular survey found that as how do people see stress? The number one way of seeing is that these people are always irritated, always angry. A small thing can make a huge uh, difference. I, I, I still uh, remember one of my managers in the, one of the previous organization, of course, I didn't have this much of information about stress, but anything and everything you go and talk, the moment you smile, it's, we can see that there is something to explore. There is something to explore. Unfortunately, most of the time, these are the people we actually follow and think that this is the right way of doing it, but definitely not the right way of doing it, but which we may not realize. It. So other symptoms of people are stress are first fatigue and low energy, lack of motivation and interest. Most of the things we might know, headache, feeling sad, depressed, indigestion, muscle tension and uh, appetite changes. These are information, but how do we make information interesting and useful is what we need to do. Again, take a few seconds and understand how many of these parameters, which is mentioned here, are part of your life. That could give a different idea about what you might be going through in your life. So stress management, often this is an interesting uh, topic for uh, many trainers in a corporate world. And after the stress management session, most of the participants are highly stressed is what I noticed. But on a very, very uh, simple and practical way of getting out of the stress on a daily life is uh, plenty of sleep and some bit of exercise and like walking for 10 minutes, practicing relaxation skills. I'm sure most of us are aware of it. And I think third is the most important thing setting goals and establishing priorities. In a day or in your career or in your life, you need to have very clear priorities. Where am I going to spend my time? I cannot spend my time on all of things. That can actually make a lot of difference to the amount of energy you invest in wrong things. And the last and the most important thing, most important thing we can do is spending time with people you love. So how do I manage stress? The one bad way I can say is I go for a drink, which is not the uh, good way most of the times. But the good way I usually do is the moment I'm overly stressed, I say, what's happening right now? What do I need right now? The now can make a huge difference. So analyze your day and see that how you can manage stress today. Thank you and over to Toastmaster. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster.